All right, we are officially live. It's been a little bit since I had the opportunity to do a live video, but here I am and here you are. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch to all of my power viewers and we love comic subscribers. My name is Chris and yes, as you see on the screen, I'm going to show you seven more comics I have a feeling that you need to own before it does start getting too late. Now, some of these I've talked about in the past, but we're getting closer to certain situations, certain situations happening in the comic book world where um, one of the biggest things I notice in people who purchase things like comic books is people tend to wait the last minute. And some of these are starting to get up there in price, but they are still affordable and books that will not stay that way, in my opinion. So I always humbly ask people if anybody could share these videos, the people that you think would benefit from them. I always appreciate that. Helping uh, me helps me to help everybody else. And I already see a bunch of people that are here. Um, before I put on the camera and show these seven comics, um, I just want to let people know I have probably about 20 boxes worth of comics that I can do unboxings with that I bought before losing my other, um, well, two jobs, actually. So I'm going to have enough to do a lot of videos until I can come up with another job. Um, I do have one DJ job that I'm starting on the 19th, so I'm going in the right direction. Uh, I want to thank everybody for the well wishes and everything, and just a reminder that, you know, sometimes things can go bad, but it doesn't mean it'll stay that way unless you decide it to be that way. So make sure you stay positive, and remember, it's just a matter of time. And sometimes you just got to get out some of the garbage. So, let's put on the video camera. But before I start showing the comics, I want to say hello to the people who are kind enough to be here early. They deserve their shout-outs. Wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. But, uh, Luck E, never seen you before, but welcome. Red Mick, um, Alfonso is here. John, as he likes to be called, Gorilla Garad. Orchid, Black Panther, Hector, Huffington House, uh, or Huff House Art. Gizmo is here. SWP Goat, Black Panther. Wow, we have Marvel characters here. Don is here. Uh, Big Dog, Webhead. And let me see if there's anybody else that I missed. Red Mick, Aggressively Relaxing. I like that one. Probe 186 says, hey, so I say hey back. So I'm going to show you seven books that I really think you should be focusing on. Obviously, this is my opinion, so you may or may not agree. Um, these are books I will get multiple copies of, especially if I can find deals. And one thing I always recommend is don't just buy the first one you see. Don't let emotion take the best of you. Look for deals. Find out what the going prices are by checking places like GoCollect.com or previous sales on eBay. Um, don't be afraid to ask for deals because I still do that even to this day. I got a comic that um, is coming that it's just basically as a steal. And sometimes you got to make those things happen. But don't just buy the first one you see. And if you are buying on eBay, um, don't forget to sign up for the cashback program. The link is in the description. It does help me. So if you've never used it before and you buy $25 or more of anything, you get $10 cash back and I get $25 a one-time thing for introducing you to it. It's free to do. So anybody that hasn't signed up that could use it, it helps me through this time, so uh, it's a way where you don't have to donate money or anything like that. Um, the way that you can actually help me and continue to do what I love and hopefully what you love. So with that being said, my power viewers, get ready. These are the seven books. You may want to write them down. You've probably seen them. You may even already know what they are, but sometimes you got to be reminded of these things and not wait anymore. All right. A lot of people are talking about books like Getting Submariner Number 1, Iron Man Number 1. Um, I've talked about Submariner number one a lot. It's still definitely a great book to get, but this one is totally underappreciated at this point. Uh, it is definitely looked over. People tend to forget about this one. Uh, this is Iron Man and Submariner issue number one. This actually predates both Iron Man number one and Submariner number one. Now, there have already been claims that Submariner will eventually be making an appearance in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, the reason some people were skeptical about that is because Marvel does not own the rights anymore to Submariner. But also remember, they don't own the rights to Spider-Man. They don't own the rights to the Incredible Hulk. And yet you see them in Marvel movies. So when you got a lot of money, you can make things happen. 
So they've already actually said that he will be in a Marvel movie eventually. They just didn't say to what capacity. Now, since no one's really talking about it, and since there are no trailers or, you know, teasers or, you know, anything, end credit scenes, nobody's really focusing on it. When will they focus on it? When they first see those things. What will be the price of these books at that point? Double to triple, if not more. So learn from the lessons I've been trying to teach people for a long period of time. This book can still be obtained for $30 in mid-grade. This is one that I got years ago. I got it with my eBay bucks. So I got this for free, so it doesn't matter what grade this is. But this is a sleeper pick and one that people will seek after. Because what always happens is... See, obviously, everybody would want Submariner, the first appearance of Submariner, but that's Golden Age. You're talking tens of thousands of dollars, even in lower grade. Most people are not going to be able to afford that. The next thing they're going to go after is Submariner number one. Again, a book I've talked about a while ago. Eventually, that's going to get out of reach, so they're going to go for the alternatives. This is one that's a sleeper pick that you can get right now that's super cheap. The reason most people aren't getting it right now, because no one's talking about it. Don't wait until people talk about it because there is a price to pay for that. All right. This is another one where you should take advantage of this book because, again, um, no one's been talking about it lately, so the price has dipped a little. That is the opportunity of a lifetime to buy these things if you haven't gotten it already. This is Shazam issue number 28. This is the second appearance ever of Black Adam and the first appearance since the Golden Age. <coughs> Excuse me. He only appeared once, and that was in Marvel Family Number no. 1, back in the Golden Age. Now, that book in a 0 0.5 sells for about $2,000, if you're lucky. Again, most people are not going to be able to afford that. So this is the next thing, best thing. This is his second appearance ever. And we know they've already confirmed and they've reconfirmed that The Rock is, as of now, still playing... Uh, Black Adam. Now, keep in mind, this one, one of the reasons why I kept it on the lower of the seven is because it's not out yet, nothing is guaranteed. So there might be a little risk in this, and I think that's why this has gone down a while, because the hype for this died down about a year, year and a half ago. So people are passing this up right now, which has made the price go down. That's when you want to buy this book. So a little bit closer. Shazam movie is going to be coming out. So far, it looks like it's going to be good. But, you know, we'll find out once the movie's actually out. Um, if it does well, you can guarantee as much as you can that the next start part will be with Black Adam in it. So you are taking a chance with it. Again, I always stress there are risks involved. But if you buy it at a cheaper price, you know, you're not going to really lose out. I paid $57.80 for this book. It's probably a 7.5 to 8.5 range. Uh, you could get this book easily in lower grade for under thirty dollars right now. Most people are not pass, you know, they're passing this up, not really paying attention to it. That's when you could find a stealth buy. Another book I've been recommending for a long time. Uh, this is a book again. It's risky. That's why it's on the bottom. But still, for a first appearance of a character, definitely worth getting. Uh, I've stressed this before. I cannot stress enough. You want to get things before they become part of the cinematic universe because you know what happens to comics after that this is silver surfer issue number three which is the first appearance of mephisto this is a beautiful cover it's a thicker book so a lot of times it's going to be hard to get this book because this part tends to be scrunched so if you could see the reading of what's here when it's facing this way that means the book has been flattened um, unless you find a great deal, I would pass up on those. You want to have make sure that these square bounds actually look that way, square. Reggie's here. Welcome. Um, yes, he loves that book. So do I. And, of course, Silver Surfer. We know it's just a matter of time before he ends up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, I was given tips from uh, rumors years ago from a connection that was telling me at one point in the Marvel future, probably Phase 5, uh, they're talking about going into, because I, you know, they said they're going into space and all this other stuff. They might start getting into the underworld after that. So you're talking, you know, they, this is Marvel Satan. So this is a character to get now 
Again, it's taking a risk. There's no guarantee that he will show up. But, I mean, they've already used some of the underworld characters in Thor Ragnarok, so they're getting people used to those kind of situations. Mephisto is a popular Silver Surfer character, and one that you could get cheap. You could get this easily for under $100 in mid-grade. It's a book that most people do tend to pass up because they want more higher grade, more familiar key issues. You could probably get this for a steal. I bought this for under $50. $49.85. But I got these years ago. Same thing with this book. Again, I bought these back in 2015. I have probably about five copies. This is a book everybody's going to want soon. This is already a fairly pricey book, but it is not out of the range. This is, of course, Silver Surfer issue number one. This is not his first appearance, but as of now, Silver Surfer um, Fantastic Four number 48 is starting to get out of people's price ranges. That's the first appearance of Silver Surfer. Now, people are going to go after issue 49, which is his second appearance, but a lot more will come to this issue. This is his first solo issue and absolutely love this cover uh this is a book you're probably going to spend about at least 150 at this point for even lower grades i only paid 80 dollars for this book because again i knew it was coming and i buy things before they become popular because remember if you're doing it for investment purposes it's buy low sell high if you're just buying it because you love it then it doesn't really matter the price but why spend more if you don't have to but this is a book people are going to really start gravitating to. And um, once Silver Surfer is on the cinematic of uh, the MCU, expect this book to double. So get it before that happens. Don't wait on the fan train where everybody follows suit. All right, so we got three more. <coughs> and you notice I'm not doing the major key issues because I'm talking about ones that people may overlook trying to get those other expensive books. Obviously, the first appearance of Silver Surfer is the one to get. But it's a little pricey, and you may not be able to afford that. So I'm trying to pick books that are still within price range of getting for most people. Next up, another book that I've talked about. This is Amazing Spider-Man issue number 17. Now, we know that you cannot have a Spider-Man movie, especially if it's going to be a trilogy or more, without the Green Goblin in it. That's like not having the Joker in a Batman movie. Or not having Lex Luthor in a Superman movie. So they haven't had him yet. Because I think Marvel is just building it up. They do it the right way. They develop things. And you know, not just throw the main characters down our throat. Now, of course, Amazing Spider-Man number 14 is going to be the most desirable. That's his first appearance. But you're talking hundreds of dollars even for a 0 0.5. This does have significance. Because... This, yes, this is the second appearance of the Green Goblin, but it is the first time he rides the glider. If you see, <clears throat> if you see Amazing Spider-Man 14, he's riding on what I call his magic vacuum cleaner. You never see that again. What do you see? You see this iconic glider to this day that he still uses. So this is the first time he uses that glider. So there is some significance in this book. Plus, I mean, for the first 20 issues of Amazing Spider-Man, you cannot go wrong. Now, this book is starting to get up there, but like I said in the other comics, once the first appearance becomes unobtainable, or unobtainium, they're going to go after the next best thing, which is the second appearance. That is this book. I got this a couple years ago for $93.61. Expect to spend about 125 to 150 for lower grade at this point. Of course, I'm not talking 9.8s or 9.0s or anything, because then you're talking in the realm of thousands. I mean, if you can afford that, that's great. But these are obtainable even in lower grades. You could get a 0 0.5 for this book under $75. So it won't stay that way. And don't always let other people convince you that lower grade is not a good thing. I mean, especially if you're doing it for investment purposes, because let's put it this way. If you find a 0 0.5 of this book, let's say you find it for $70, and then all of a sudden they announce Norman Osborn and the Green Goblin are going to end up in a Marvel movie, and that book all, the be all of a sudden becomes a $150 book, well, you've basically doubled your money. 
it's all about the numbers and the percentage. You know, plus, if you can't afford a higher grade, like I've always said, low grade is better than no grade. Now, speaking of one that I talked about earlier, this at this point is a must-have. If you do not have this book, if you wait for them to announce either one of these characters, you will no longer be allowed, well, able to afford this book because this book is going to skyrocket. Of course, like I said, the number one book is to get is number 48, but this has some significance in it. And I was warning people about this years ago. I have probably 8 to 10 copies of this book. I did not spend over $100 on any of them. This one I spent $56 on. This is the first appearance. Now, um, this is Fantastic Four number 49. But this is the first full appearance of Galactus. Second appearance of Silver Surfer. And the first time they're on a cover. So that's one of the reasons, even though this isn't as significant as 48... It has some significance. <clears throat> and really quick, um, I want to say thank you to this because if anybody that's kind enough to send the super chat, I want to make sure I acknowledge it and show my appreciation. Uh, Tina was kind enough to send a $10 super chat, so thank you. And she writes, I love seeing affordable keys. Thanks, Chris. Um, you're very welcome. I love helping people. Now, uh, um, this book was one I've been telling people for a long time to get. Most people didn't get it. Why? Because most YouTube channels didn't talk about it. Most comic book community areas weren't speaking about it. So when I was talking about it, I was actually getting laughed at, saying it was silly. Well, I paid $56 for this book. I've averaged between like $40 and $75 for this book back in 2015. This book in 0 0.5 grade is about $180 to $200 right now. That may sound expensive, but that $200 0.5 will be a $400 0.5 end up once they're in a movie. So this is getting up there, but you have not seen the full price of this book yet. So this one and the next one I'm about to show you are the must-haves, in my opinion, for books to get knowing they are going to be as close as you can guarantee to a sure thing where your money will double so don said he just checked the prices yes they're, they're getting up there because people are starting to notice but the majority of people will not react until they finally get confirmation in other words when they announce finally officially by showing a teaser trailer with galactus or silver surfer in it or a end credit scene then you're going to see people flooding to get these books and i'm telling you you're going to regret it. So many people are regretting it already that they didn't buy it back in 2015, 2016 when I was telling people to get it. You're not there yet. So take the chance. All right, last one. And don't forget, if you uh, watch the entire video, don't forget to proudly display in the comment section of this video once it uploads that you are a We Love Comics power viewer. I want to know that you are proud that you watch and spend your time watching the whole video. And I will also do today's surprise subscriber shout-out. And this is, in my opinion, the number one book to get that is as much as a guarantee to a book going up than any book that I know of. And that is Hulk number 180. This book, in my opinion, is one of the most undervalued key comics that you can get out there in the comic book world today because yes Hulk 181 is the most popular <clears throat> it is the most it's his first full appearance but it is not his first appearance this book is the first time the world is introduced to Wolverine one of the most popular X-Men if not one of the most popular Marvel characters of all time you can still get a 0 0.5 if you look at gocollect.com right now a 0 0.5 of this book is valued at 95 dollars now this isn't a 0 0.5 it's probably about a 5.0 to a 5.5 but i spent 81 dollars on it now key thing this will not have its full value if it does not have the marvel stamp 
If you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a video that talks about Marvel stamps. So if you're new to the comic book world and you may be embarrassed to ask that question, which I don't, I don't blame you because there are some people in this comic book community that will make fun of you if you don't know something right away. I guess apparently when they were born, they knew the theory of the universe and uh, how to do uh, quantum mechanics when they were born. But if you have not heard about the Marvel stamps, I have a video about it, so check it out on my playlist. It's under um, Comic Tips and Helpful Advice. Even if they say that the um, stamp is in here, make sure if you buy this, open it up and check. So I'm going to open this book up. And I'm going to show it to you, so in case you've never seen it before, you will know what I'm talking about. So, what will happen is, if you do not have... Now, first of all, here's the first time you ever see Wolverine. It's only the last panel, so it's a cameo appearance. But last time I checked, 180 comes before 181. So that's the first time you are introduced to a major character that will end up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. There is no brainer about this. So here is the Marvel value stamp. Back in the 70s, they were doing this with all the Bronze Age, not all of them, but a majority of the Bronze Age comics, and they were selling a separate book where you could cut out those stamps and tape them on, which made this book, um, especially also 181 has that as well, um, it makes it more desirable with the stamp because with that stamp cut out, it doesn't affect the story, but if you get it graded, it will come back a green label as um, incomplete. So make sure it does have the value stamp. Um, I would spend more money on the complete book than one without it, but obviously if you can only afford a, um, a lower grade without it, something's always better than nothing. But those will show value too. So this book... Mark my words right now. Like I said, this is about a $100 book in a 0 0.5. About six months after they announce that um, they've gotten a new Wolverine character, mark my words, that book will probably be about a three to $400 book. So, of all of them, those last two, in my opinion, are must-haves and are as close to guarantees as you can get. Um, the one with the Green Goblin is another one that's it's it's a guarantee, but not as much. The others are kind of risky. It's hard to say. But if you buy them at cheaper prices, you could find some deals. So ask for deals. And as a matter of fact, I just, I'm going to give you a hint. I just won a Hulk 180 just yesterday. And I didn't pay the going right prices because you wait for deals and you ask for deals. So they can still be found. you got to be patient. You don't give up. If you say you can't, you won't. That's why like, I'm trying to teach people, yes, I lost two of my jobs. I lost 85% of my income. But I will get more jobs. I will get in the right way. I'm doing things to make myself happy. And um, it's just a matter of time. So I want people to know you can stay positive. And yes, sometimes you take a step back, but then you'll make a step, two steps forward in life. So try and stay positive. So those are the seven books. I hope you appreciate it. If you don't have them, start collecting them, especially those last two. Sometimes, like they say in investments, you got to spend money to make money. Now, again, in lower grade, you know, $100, $200 may seem like a lot, but if you think about it, if you put $25 a week away in from your paycheck, you can get it very quickly. So do what you can. Sell some cans if you have to. Do a barter. You could trade with people. You could look at yard sales. You can go to antique shops. You're limited to your thought process. So don't just automatically dismiss something because then you're guaranteed failure. And who wants to spend their life guaranteeing themselves failure when they really want to succeed? So with that being said, I am going to do today's surprise subscriber shout out. Um, if you are so kind to give it a thumbs up, I always appreciate that. And today's surprise subscriber shout out, hopefully they are still here. Uh, we're going to give that to Mr. Rockfish01. Obviously, you don't have to be a subscriber, but I hope I did earn your subscription. So, thank you very much. When this video processes, make sure you leave a comment. <coughs> Excuse me. Share it, thumb it up, and go get those comics. Because remember, I'm not a comic store. I'm not selling any of these comics. So, I'm not profiting off of what you do. I'm just trying to help the community so they don't end up having to spend more money when they don't have to. 
So if you appreciate that, just show the support any way you know how. So thanks for watching. Uh, I was going to say don't, for wait in the, don't forget to wait until the end, but this is not one of my pre-recorded videos. And I'm just going to stop talking right here. Thanks always. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you sticking around. And I hope you all have a great day.